TeacherZone supports other video meeting types like Zoom and Skype. You can even put in the Google video meeting or go to meeting or things like that. And all you need to do is go from your teacher login to your profile and paste in the required information. So for Skype, you want to paste in whatever it is that is your Skype name and then whatever you want to be called. And same thing with Zoom. You'll actually put in your name and then you'll actually paste in your Zoom link. So I'll come here and paste in my Zoom link. And then if you have alternative meeting types, like go to meeting for instance, you could paste in that link here. So you paste it in here. And then as you save, now when you go to do a video call with the student, you'll notice that there is a way to access those. So if you want to go ahead and make a video call with the student, when the student's logged in, you can either go straight to your chat or you can actually click chat with student from the lesson manager or from the profile. And you'll notice that when the student's logged in, you get a teacher's own video call icon or the more calls if you have links in there. So as you click more calls, you'll notice there's other choices. So in this case, we have a Zoom choice and an alternative meeting type. And if I click this link, it'll actually launch my Zoom meeting. And so the student can do the same and voila, you're connected to Zoom. For the student and you to connect via Skype, you'll only see Skype as a teacher if the students put in their ID on their profile. I'll show you how to do that now. But the student will see your Skype ID regardless if you put it in and then they can click it and put in theirs. So you'll notice in a student profile, as I go to my teacher, my teacher's made some notes to me and said, uh, go ahead and join my Zoom. So how would I do that? To join the Zoom, I would actually click the more calls and then you notice the teacher's meeting type. So their Skype ID's in, so it's showing up here. And if I click the Zoom link, as the teacher's asked, it'll simply launch in a new window so that the student and teacher could still inside TeacherZone chat, share files, the teacher can assign practice. They can also, of course, take attendance, make notes, so on and so forth. So we launch from here. And if I go to the student profile, you'll notice that if you're using Skype, the student can actually put in their Skype ID as well. So that way the teacher can launch directly to the student if they like. But if the student launches from the teachers, it'll launch it and you'll be good to go. Our system also in mobile can support launching your different video chat possibilities. So for more calls on mobile, you'll notice it says the different links that are available. And then when you click them, it'll actually launch it. So it's that easy to use different alternative video calling types in TeacherZone.